Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. You know what channel you are at. In case you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And definitely subscribe to my channel, okay? That's Deb Chanel's 48th World, okay? Deb Chanel 48th World, okay? We're back at the council. We're working overtime. We had to deliberate and discuss after yesterday's or in the wee hours of the morning, we had to come to our conclusion that we were silencing some people. And, you know, we thought everything was going well. Of course, Judge Judy was like, I don't know. I don't trust them. And I especially don't trust PW. Yes, y'all know the initials of PW, Housewife of Atlanta, Pillar Johanna's mom, okay? We have silenced her. We have told her we have silenced her. But yet, she has still come out. And Judge Judy said it. She told Mama D, and she told Queen Latifah, and she told the Queen of England. She, had, she told them, I don't trust her. I've been in this game a lot longer than you are. You all have. Y'all have just been trying to study the whole format of running a country. OK, but I've been running a courthouse and I know a fraud faking funky person. OK, and I think we need to enlist some big heads. So right now we are definitely going to be asking uh, Ms. Jackson to come out uh, to help us out, to help us understand, be a consultant for us in a way, because she definitely raised a whole musical family with her cheating husband and probably domestic on her as well. And we know how Michael Jackson, her late son, had to be exposed to a lot of different elements, some negative, some positive, and he would have to live in a fishbowl. And as we know, Janet Jackson, as well as Latoya Jackson, have definitely been powerful women in the industry. So we know uh, Janet and her comings and goings in the entertainment industry, her dancing ability, her song singer, songwriter expertise. And we also know the side of Michael Jackson and his brothers and how they ended up as a group but had to separate. So what better candidate? to handle uh, trying to figure out these so-called wannabe self-proclaimed uh, self queens uh, and trying to stand up with the 21st century or how they get down. So we're going to enlist her because um, Miss Jackson is definitely has had her hand in raising her grandchildren uh, of her deceased um, son. And that has not been a, 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 a what do you call it, a... Uh, um, Lack of a better word, it hadn't been going well. It had to make her change glasses several times because trying to be a grandparent at that late age to some kids, it can come become very daunting at times. And then you're talking about raising your late deceased kid, kids as really your grandkids. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. It kind it came at the latter part of her life when she should have been enjoying herself, you know, kicking back with some coolers or whatnot. You know, because she never divorced her ex-husband. No, she did. She never divorced him, but she didn't live with him either. Okay, so she would be the epitome of teaching PW some lessons. Even though we may have tried to uh, talk with her biological mom, Diane, but uh, she pretty much has said she's raised Portia. She's uh, gave her her two or three cents here and there. And, of course, Diane was not raised in the matriarch type of royalty. So we're not going to be asking her to help us in anything. Uh, this decision of continue to let Portia. Oops, I made a mistake. Oop, but y'all know how I get on the commentary person. And sometimes I like to leak out stuff. But, yeah, they silenced her. But, yet they didn't think it was a good idea to sit and basically talk to her about her daughter, okay, because that's another whole round of uh, another book we could write a story on, but we're not considering that. We're talking about royalty and how you must conduct yourself, so we're going to stay in the two people that we basically had talked to and their uh, 
have agreed to somewhat to talk with us over the telephone for lengthy discussions because they're both are not well. Tina Turner is another icon that we enlisted to help us understand these things that PW is doing and help us rationalize because she was part of a domestic type of relationship as well, as well as a marriage. And of course, she left, got rid of her ex-husband, uh, Ike. And we already know how that played. We've seen it in the, uh, her documentaries of bi uh, biographical evidence. Uh, she produced movies or a movie on it. And she talked frankly about it a lot of different times as well. Uh, so she would be a part or she's thinking about becoming a part of the castle, uh, the matriarch team. So we can lean to their understanding of certain things and what better Proteges to follow up with than to have both Katherine Jackson and Tina Turner sit and advise us in an advisement capacity. because uh, they are um they are they are kind of um settled and seasoned women and you know they've lived their life and they've understand and overstand a lot of information and um we don't want to put them too much in a sense where they have to go doing day-to-day -day tasks and keeping up with the social media craze and giving, you know, really stern, staunched opinions and trying to make decisions whether we have to let people go or we have to disenfranchise them, we have to shun them and uh, that type of nature. But what two powerful women to have as consultants at this time. So they're are not necessarily on the castle team, but they are consultants. Okay. And um, that's where we're going with it, basically. But we're trying to understand why PW, when the sun came up over the hills and valleys, she called herself going to make a public announcement on her social media platform, which we had told her we had silenced her. And what a deg uh, degrading, disgraceful thing that she called herself doing, all right? We already told her she's not married to this gentleman. She did the backwards way of doing things, but we accepted her anyway. We told her to slow her role and, and, and conduct herself in a moral fashion, okay? Have some coof about herself, okay? But yet she decided to fall by the wayside. So basically, Radar Online came and talked with me today. Yes, and had to throw some scandalous, salacious news on PW, whom we had silenced last night, according to the queens of the castle. Okay, the monarchy of Atlanta as well as England, okay, and New York, really the global, 52 states as in the global world. We are collectively, we come united as a whole front, the united front, okay? They informed us that Portia, yes, I had to leak it again in case some people didn't understand the initials of PW, came to me and sought out my understanding and I told him I'm just the commentary person I just put stuff together I present it to the court the queendom to see what they want to do okay but yes we had a forum last night and we had talked to uh PW as well as some of the other queens or uh, self-proclaimed queens and you know, they had went through the academy and had all the structure that they could possibly want and desire, but yet they are being rebellious once again, okay? But the other two have seemed to, like, kind of lay low, you know what I'm saying? Not agitating anyone, not letting anyone agitate them. You know, the latter two have been somewhat silent, you know, going about their day-to-day -day business and their comings and goings with their followers, fans, or however they deem their subjects to be, 
okay. Uh, but we told them they can definitely express themselves in nice professional ways, okay. Uh, definitely publicizing the children because the children are too young. They don't need to be on social media. They need to have a type of barrier that they don't need to let their children cross, okay? Because once they get 21, they're going to have and people are going to let have on them, on their opinions, their suggestions, and we want them well equipped to be able to handle them and shut them down, okay? Professionally, swiftly, and professionally, and concretely, okay? That's how we get down. Strong, strong men and women of the castle must come out and prevail, all right? But yet, our women of the castle seem to keep going amok, all right? Especially PW. So we're going to give you what our... Some people call them a snitch. Some people call them resources. I call them the source, okay? I call them the source. That's all of my referrals that I get when people want to drop uh, tea on what some of our self-proclaimed kings and queens are doing out here that we may not be aware of because we're going through our day-to-day -day life, making sure we keep the castle in order. Uh, we're producing good stock, to be out there in the community, and we're programming them to be leaders, not followers, but leaders, strong leaders in the community, so we all can be one. You see what I'm saying? That's what the council is doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So when we have some infractions come across and it's hitting globally, we must come united and in agreement and connect the forefront of a face we must put out, okay? So I had to take um, stock in what the source had brought me, and they're from Radar Online, okay? And they told me that PW was cutting up and showing her ass out there in the community. Atlanta, Georgia is where she's residing at, and of course, everybody know I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, so what better person to sit down and have a conversation with, okay? But anyway, the title that um, fellow over at the Radio Online broke out to us, staff writer, published on today at 1846 p.m. Military time, I think that would be 6 o'clock, I'm thinking. Let me see, 15, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, now I think that would be 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, 8.46 p.m., okay? That's military time for those who don't know. 18.46, okay? But anyway, it's under their scandal section of entertainment, okay, we like entertainment, we like good news, we don't like salacious, scandalous news, that is like egg thrown on the castle, and we cannot, we always have to be looking pretty and perfective, perfection is the game, okay, we cannot be looking with egg yolks on our faces, okay, because when they look bad, they look at the source. They look at where they were bred from, okay, of good stock. They're looking at the castle, all right? And we can't have us look at any kind of way but on point. All right, but we go on with a title. They have titled P uh, P.W. Under calling her uh, claim to fame, No Cheating, Real Housewives of Atlanta star P.W., Keeping an eye on fiance Dennis M. We're going to call him. We ain't even going to give him the title of even addressing his last name. Okay. Out of respect for his mother and father. Her mother and dad. However y'all want to see it. Okay. At the infidelity scandal. All right. Going into it. It says no trouble the second time around. Okay. No trouble. 
No trouble the second time around. Oh, Shalimar. Y'all remember uh, what's his name? Hewitt, Power Hewitt, and I forgot the girl name. She used to be a dancer, but she was his lead singer. Jody Wiley, yes. The second time around would be better than the first time. I know I've ever been true. For you, I made my mistakes. Yes, I did. Yes, my, my feelings, baby. This old walk is in the way. Don't let me get away the second time around. Yes, that's what PW and Dennis M are claiming. Okay, because they just they ain't solid as a rock. Solid. Mm. Solid as a rock. Hey, that's what this love is. Y'all remember Astro and Simpson? Now, they were solid as a rock. But P.W. and Dennis M., no, ma'am. No, sir. No, Lord. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing solid in that situation. But that's just me, the commentary for the castle. <laughs> that's just my opinion, and I'm sticking with it, okay? Because she ain't giving me nothing else to go on. It's just salacious, scandalous story. One day after the other, okay? Trying to stay relevant on these social media streets. Sometimes you can be classy and trashy at the same time. But right now, she's totally giving us trash to trash to trash. It, okay? That's my comment that I ain't got nothing on the castle. Okay? Because they don't talk like that at the castle. I just have to keep it real with the castle when I'm talking with them. Okay? The members of the castle, I have to come and let them know what's up, what's good, what's out, what needs to be said, what needs to be done. And then they, uh, how do you call it, dissect it, reverse it, reprogram it, and it's, it's explained in their type of language. Okay? Because they're with those these thous and, and, and off with the heads. Now, they really stuck in the back ages. Okay? They are really stuck, okay? You, you, if they had their way, they'll be, still be riding around in horse and carriages, okay? Forget all this modernized, you know, type of machinery going on. Uh-uh. No, okay? But I'm trying to pull them up, make them understand this is 21st century. This is how it goes out there. But they still have their own ways of doing things. The old ways are better in their, their eyes. And you can't do anything about raising truth, okay? morals, values, you know, those kind of things, okay, that it seems like our society is just totally debunked of, uh, devoided, okay, but anyway, just give me a little uh, history on the castle, don't get down like that, okay, they understand, or they get interpreters to understand what I'm trying to tell them stuff, so it's like I'm saying to them, then they have a mediator, then the mediator talks in their language, okay, <laughs> which is alien to me, but it just is what it is, okay, but anyway, going back to the article that the source had sent to me, which is we give out names. We don't just make subliminals. We tell where our source is, okay? And that source, again, came, comes from RadioOnline.com. Get into it, people. Get into it. All right? It says, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star poor. See, I almost did it again, PW. is keeping her fiancé on a tight leash like he a dog. But I don't know. He's been dog, doing doggy type ways, okay? After they recently reconciled following his cheating scandal, RadarOnline.com exclusively learned. P and D are back under the same roof an insider snitched to Radar about the reality show couple. Now, who's getting paid? Who is in PW's camp leaking insanely good? Coffee banter, okay? Who is in her camp? Or better yet, who's in Dennis M's camp leaking it? Okay, who's paying those dollars for the stories that are coming out that are exclusively, okay? Oh, exclusive stories. All right, going back, though, it says, Radar broke the news that Dennis M reproposed to PW with Bravo cameras rolling on a cash trip to Toronto. You see what I'm saying? Is it all? Y'all always tell us as commentators it's for the clicks and views. But when your so called reality star TV celebrities go out there and they post everything on social media, is it for the clicks and views? 
Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? His face, his egg thrown in anybody's face that have ever told a commenter or a YouTuber that we're just doing it for clicks and views. But then again, what are they doing? Okay. Sticks and stones, people. Sticks and stones. All right. But anyway, it goes back. We're going back to the article, that is. He put the $750,000 diamond ring back on her finger, ending their breakup that occurred following his reported cheating scandal. Now, we already know PW did not give that ring back. She probably, you know, kept it in the box, dusted off from time to time, and was recontemplating when, where, how, and what she was going to do with the ring and how it was going to be be slid back on her finger because we all know that PW is definitely controlling this man to a certain degree because a dog is a dog is a dog. If they don't claim to claim that they are a dog and they're trying to change their ways, that's still going to be a dog out there. And how we know it, we got Miss Jackson, Miss Catherine Jackson on as a consultant of the castle that can give very much so information on how that is spilled down. Okay? Remember her husband, her so-called devoted husband that they ended up not getting a divorce, but lived in two separate houses on in two separate states. Okay? Can I get an amen? Can I get a whoop whoop? All right. Now that's a woman doing the darn thing and having class about herself when she's doing it. Okay? Put the dog in the doghouse, okay? We'll come out in public with the United Front, but closed doors, get away. Give me a 100 to a 1,000 feet, okay? Thank you. Okay, going back to the article, okay? It says the proud parents of baby, girl, pillar, Hannah, are giving the relationship a second chance. She don't have a choice, people. She don't have a choice. The baby is at the arms of mercy, of her parents, okay? She don't have a choice. May the Lord bless her each and every day of her life because the two parents she got, oh, uh, need prayer. Okay, but anyway, moving on, moving on from there. Uh, But PW isn't going to get played twice by Dennis M., the source exclusively told Radar. Well, what are you doing to protect yourself? Because right now you're on outs with the castle. The castle has silenced you, and yet you still keep coming out the bushes, out the moat, out the rooms that we have put you in. You still keep finding a way to come out and try to embarrass yourself. You try to embarrass us as well. And you know the council don't get down like that. We put Mama G D as the head council. Okay, the head council queen. She brought it up for Atlanta. Okay, and then you go think you're gonna dethrone her and make her look bad. No, she's gonna outlive us all, such as Queen Elizabeth is doing in Europe. Okay. So, no, we're not pleased. The castle is not pleased, PW. But anyway, they say PW is keeping an eye on Dennis M. Now, as she watches what he does much more closely, the inside explain. And I definitely put some clips in the video, the visuals that shows she has Dennis M. at work for her. Now, what does that tell y'all? What does it tell y'all as the insiders looking in or the outsiders looking in at her life? See, that's what I'm saying. She puts her business out there. And then when people go in on her, we're supposed to feel sorry for her. No, no, no. That's not how it goes. When you live a private, classy life and you try to be in the media, but do it in a classy, professional way, that's one thing. Take a note from Janet Jackson. Take a note from Ceylon. See, wait a minute, Celine Dion. Take a note of picture page book of a person we definitely has put on as a consult, a consultant, Tina Turner, okay? She had to go cross country to show you all how she get down. She made herself very well. She denounced us, okay, and went on over there with them. She's like, uh-uh, I have definitely paid my dues. I have done what all I can do. Now I'm going to live the rest of my life over here in Switzerland. Or was it Sweden? I think it was Switzerland. Either way, she's out there with them. She's doing her thing. And she's conducting herself 
like a queen all day and every day. Okay, we had to get it. We had to get the. Uh, Queen of Rock and Roll on our team. So if we couldn't get the Queen of Soul, bless her, her heart, she has gone and transitioned into another plane of existence we don't know about. We're talking about Aretha Franklin. We couldn't get her to come, okay? Because we want her to rest. She had done her time on this earth and she needs to rest. So we couldn't get Aretha because we wanted Aretha to become a consultant, but it, it just came too short, too late, too short, okay? Too late, too short. But anyway, we on time with Miss Tina Turner, queen of rock and roll, okay? That's why she's over there. And we got Mrs. Catherine Jackson because she is the queen of pop because her son self-proclaimed himself as king of pop, okay? And then everybody just went on with it and he just did that thing because he was an excellent connoisseur of entertainment. Yes, he did. Yes, he showed up and showed out on that stage and making those beautiful albums that he made okay not the song <laughs> okay not one album but several archive of good music to listen to okay but we got off we got off task we got off the subject okay let's go back to pw okay they say dennis m was reportedly accused of cheating on pw and they promptly split up Months later, they were dating again. He got back down on one knee and asked her to be his wife again. And she said yes. Of course, she did not talk to our consultant, uh, Miss Jackson, Miss Catherine Jackson, nor Miss Tina Turner. Because both of them could definitely give you insight on whether to keep the cheater or to let the cheater go. Okay? To keep the cheater or let the cheater go. All right, getting back to the article, it says PW doesn't want to be embarrassed again. The source told Radar, she has warned Dennis M. Okay, how can you warn another grown person? How can you warn another grown person to act right, fly right, or they gone? Okay, you can't warn them, all right? You can only suggest, this is what I want in my life. This is how I want you to do. If you play the part, we good. But if you don't, I have to get rid of you. Okay, I have to put you in file 13, discard you, whatever, however you see it. And I'm like, allegedly, they said she was trying to have another baby by this man. I'm like, girl. And that's what you're acting like, a girl, not a woman, not a lady, not nobody with charm or any coof about themselves, okay? You are already starting bad. It ain't like you married the man and y'all had been married for a couple of years and you just didn't want to break up to make up, okay? Y'all ain't even jumped the broom yet. And this man is putting infidelity a part of loving you everlasting and not even trying to once attempt to cheat on you. No, he has cheated on you uh, num numerous of times, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? From what we were hearing out on those streets, okay? He was messing with strippers and all other kind of women, putting tattoos of their names, using fanatic, you know, and other salacious stuff was talked about. We're not going to go into that because that's not really what we do here at the castle. We just import the details of a subject and we let you all speculate assume give your own opinions and all that nature but when the council get involved it's pretty much facts it's how we're dealing with it and it ain't no uh section where you could comment your comment is not needed okay we spoken we've addressed the issue and we done moved on that's how they do it that's how they do it and i'm like oh girl I don't want to be up in the uh, the castle trying to plead no case. All right. If they raised raise me, bred me, gave me all my fundamentals of trying to be a, a excellent queen. Okay. Then uh -uh, I'm not going back because I know how rigorous that programming was. I'm not trying to be a part of that. I'm not queen material. <laughs> That's what I be trying to tell her. Uh-uh. I'm not. I can't. I can't conform. I cannot. No. Okay. I'm an individualist. I cannot. I'm going to keep my morals intact, but this is just how they get down. I'm just a commentator. I'm just a liaison between the two. The, between the people, we the people, and the castle, the Murnoch. Okay? <laughs> There's another whole level of 
dive into that you even want to even consider, okay? But anyway, going back, that's why so many people can't be called to be queens and kings. They don't, they don't have the stability. They don't have the stamina, okay? But anyway, we go back to the article. It says, scroll, okay, they were telling us to scroll through the, uh, I guess the visual gallery that she has on uh, the details of showing her baby and, and showing him and all this kind of stuff. Then we go back to another article. It says, working troubles. They are working on their peach lemonade business together. And that brings a little drama. The insider snitched to radar about P.W. and Dennis friction. Okay. They're trying to work together on this lemonade business and they can't seem to get it off the ground. See what I'm saying? They can't even get their relationship off the ground. Can't even get a, a, a wedding date set to get married off the ground. Can't keep infidelity out of their bedroom, which have been defiled anyway, because they're not married. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Can't get that off the ground. So that get that the council just like <clears throat> they don't address the issue. They don't even want. They don't even want to tear it no more on that issue. They're just trying to figure out when and where they're going to either make it a little harder on her to understand where they're coming from, or just get rid of her totally. You know, that's the point where I think they're at. But you know, I'm not a part of the council. I just tell you what's the incomings and goings, or what they want me to leak out to you all. Okay. But anyway, another uh, headline subtitle, they said, Back Together. Toronto social columnist Shanina uh, she, Shiana Govani spilled the engagement details to Radar. I know I, I almost lost my family two months ago, Giovanna, told Radar Dennis, uh, said before giving Portia, oops, PW back her giant ring. Okay. She ain't never gave it. She ain't never give it back to you. She just gave it back to you to give it back to her when it was time for you to get on that one knee. Y'all ain't fooling nobody. And it's all that's just me now. I'm just speaking my opinion, my truth, while I got y'all here to do it with. I think it's just a part of the whole drama sensation that they're building up for their new season. Okay. They give us a little just to put out while they're taping, but they're already showing us what they're going to give us. So it's almost like it's pre-recorded, pre-scripted, pre-written in as you can catch my drill. Okay. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, re-engagement, according to Giovanni, Dennis told PW he wanted her back after their brutal break up and convinced her that this proposal was for real. Anything that you have to put out in the public eye. It ain't for real, <laughs> okay? You need to be doing a lot more, okay? A lot more than what you're doing. Not only do it in public, do it in private as well. But if you're private and it's good and it's kosher, we never would have known anything. We just would have heard about a wedding date and, and when y'all get married, okay? That's pulling it together and putting things right. But, okay, you're not on that level yet, Dennis M., so we, we can't, we, we won't even discuss any more with that. Then another subtitle went with us uh, as wise women. PW is nobody's fool, and she's not going to let her relationship fall apart. The insider told Radar about the Real Housewives of Atlanta star. Well, wise and ridiculous are two different things. We've already talked about wisdom. And we just don't find that in PW at this time. And we're doing it only because of her actions, all right? Only because of her actions. You can only control yourself and what you're going to allow to happen. You can't control anybody else's um, demeanor, behavior, and all of that. You, all that you can do is just watch them from afar. And we at the castle would prefer you to watch it from afar, okay? Let him whine and die on you again. Let him do all the things that got your attention when y'all were just meeting each other for the first time. Let some time, like some years go by before you let him back in your life as a whole, as totality, as you all uniting as one. But again, you refuse to look at that from the council's perspective. So it just is what it is. Then we got cashing in as another subtitle says, poor, okay, PW returned to season 12, rehouse by Salam, came with banks. She got a raise to a whopping 1.3 million, okay? Just my side pun intended as a commentary, giving you my opinion. Woo, woo, woo. If that is your money that you're making, I'm sure 
Dennis M. is looking at it as well. He's going to use you as his platform. He's going to put you in so many different business ventures that when everything goes belly up, it's, you're going to have so much mud on your face and so much trauma come your way. Uh, don't really wish that upon you, but we just wish you would play a little uh, chess, not checkers, not dominoes, not uno. Okay, we want you to play chess, something that the castle plays all day, every day. It's like checkmate, okay? Checkmate, not bingo. No, 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 PW, no. Okay, but in other news, we're looking at looking at stories, bringing on more consultants or men that are going to be seen as king so they can preside on some things that are happening out there in the social media world with people who call themselves kings. Because right now, uh, the social media and the council are definitely looking at Judge Mathis. He's out there spitting on a male valet driver because he took too long to get his Rolls Royce out of the parking lot or parking space. It took him almost 15 to uh, 10 to 15 minutes before he could directly get the car, uh, the Rolls Royce, the baby of Judge Mathis. Uh, they had some heated uh, words, or I should say it was one-sided from what I'm allegedly being reported from People Magazine, another source. OK, that is coming to the door because uh, he claimed himself as a, a well-made re-over man. And, you know, he had wanted to become king status as well. We took his application. Uh, we might want to file 13 it, but we're going to do his due diligence. We're going to research this matter a little more because that's what the council do. They dot their I's, they cross their T's before they give up their application. They want to make sure they did all that they could to try to represent this person's formal application and what they wanted to do and how they wanted to see themselves in the castle, okay? Because we just don't take every, oh, I should say, they don't just take everybody, okay? You have to have some uh, bloodlines going on. You have to have some uh, good philanthropy uh, ship going on. You have to definitely... Uh, be a well thought out individual. Everybody seems to agree with your ideologies. You know, it's just a lot that goes on that the council will look at. They're very stern when it comes to certain things. They toot their nose at other stuff like salacious, scandalous stories. They prefer not to even deal with that. They more into uh, money, finance, economics. You know, this is what uh, runs the world, greed. And if you don't have that greed, that power, that position, uh, that the castle can't deal with you, <laughs> okay? They don't want to deal with you, in other words, okay? And then we got, of course, R. Kelly out there trying to find him another attorney to uh, subdue, to uh, uh, make his case a little bit more appealing because, no, he don't want to go and be incarcerated like Bill Cosby on these same type of issues uh that are facing him and uh he just can't take the pressure so he has enlisted some of his deep pocket friends family members fans uh constituents to try to help him out um we're trying to look at it from us oh i should say the council is trying to look at it to make sure that it's not one of their people who's trying to do this funding uh because they don't want to be in any type of uh, retro action that's going to be negative for them if they're going to have to sit out there and be represented. You know what I'm saying? They, they just don't want to get involved in it. They won't get involved in it. So they're watching his story uh, unfold and, and trying to see the participants that are out there trying to help him to see if it's really something that they need to be doing, uh, depending on the amount of evidence that have come forward. Uh, it's almost like we have to just wash our hands of certain entities. But, you know, he we did take his application. We were reviewing it. We had got to the middle stage because, you know, he's self-proclaiming himself as the king of R&B. OK, and we, we haven't. 
for lack of a better word, we haven't really gotten over some of the stuff that we had gotten on him. We were trying to digest it and we were trying to look through, find other sources that can combat uh, some of the things that were being put out on him to see if we could afford to take him on. Now, he definitely has been in the programming stage and, you know, he's been doing what he, we've asked him to do on several things, but... You know, he's allowed his, aligned himself with other entities, and we just don't know if he's a good fit anymore. But we don't want to throw the, the baby out with the bath water. We don't want to throw the baby out with the bath water. So we're, we're, we're considering a lot. We really are. But uh, that's a lot. We, you know, we're trying to get settled in with our consultants, and we're going to build on till we get our uh, 12. Uh, right now, we just, you know, we can't count them to. Catherine and, and Tina, because like I said, they're well on in their season years, then we need somebody to be able to rule. We already got uh, Queen Elizabeth over there. It seems like she will not go anywhere, but we need her, I guess. So they need her over in Europe. We need Mama D, Queen Latifah here in the States. So uh, we're trying to build up our statehood of our queendom, okay, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna do, we might have to enlist getting, um, Queen Beyonce, okay, Queen B, you know, we're, we're still looking at her application, she's done, uh, marvelous for, uh, herself, her family, uh, we're trying to see what she's doing for the community out there, because, you know, we like to give back, we like to give back, so, we're definitely looking at her application. We haven't signed sealed the deal on that yet uh, because there's some controversy with her husband, Sean Carter, okay? And this NFL takeover and, and how he did his buddy, uh, Jermaine Dupree. So we don't like to get our hands, our foots, our bodies in any sticky situation that we can't bounce up out of, okay? Untouched, unscathed, because that's how the capsule get down. All right, but we enjoyed you all. Thank you for having Deb Chanel's 48th World be our commentator for the castle. And um, I they bid me good night, so I am big, big, um, what do you call it? I'm big, uh, I'm gonna bid you good night, <laughs> okay? And catch me on another flip side where I am breaking down the castle news when it comes to these self appointed queens and kings. And like I said, we're definitely building up to our uh, 12 on our um, in the castle who make the decisions, who says who goes, who stays and all of that. Right now, you see we're in our fundamental stage. We have three people and we're adding on because we definitely have to get the kings up in here. We have the, uh, the self uh well, they're not really self. Well, we are. They're kind of self-made, and they've uh, produced good stock, and and we need them. And we just haven't been having a good selection. So we'll get back with you as far as the kings. But once we get our six queens on deck, we will start looking for our six kings. Okay, and then we can play chess. Okay, all day, every day in the states because they've been playing it over in Europe all day, every day from the beginning of time. Okay. So now we just have to catch up with them. And that's what the council is pretty much doing. Uh, giving lead way and understanding to Queen Elizabeth because she definitely got that sold up on the uh, European front. Okay, the Britain front. British community, okay? So uh, that's all I had. Y'all enjoy yourselves. Hope y'all enjoyed this commentary. And we'll talk to y'all soon for something else because I'm sure... The people that we have silenced, they're going to continue to do, come out and, and, and embarrass us. And we're going to come back saying we are well the situation and we are making headway on resolving it. Okay. And that's all we need to know. And that's not fake news. That's real news. Okay. So take care. We'll see you next time. Good night. <laughs>